I don't know, because I feel like this deck is not there yet, but I don't know what tweaks to make to it. That's the problem. I mean, that's the thing that's got me, is that I'm not positive what I want to do to it. Like, I just went through, I took two cards out, I literally backed out of the screen, and then I sat there for a minute, and I was like, that's not a good trade. That's not a good enough trade. Because it's not. But there's something about this deck that's missing. There's a little bit of something that's not firing in this deck. And I just, I can't get an exact handle on it. It's frustrating. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm, think, I'm, I'm thinking about a lot of different things in regards to this deck. I mean, you, at a certain point, you got to just kind of think that maybe this is as good as it's going to get for right now. And we have to look down the road at and maybe some DLC coming out that we'll probably also have to pay for um, twice. That'll, you know, pay for the DLC and then pay to unlock the cards. Not unlocked cards, but, there's, but it's probably going to come. I mean, I would be surprised if the DLC did not come out with more premium packs. I just... I'd be surprised. I just wonder how much I'm going to end up spending on this game by the end of the year. That's all. That's all I'm curious for. We'll see what this deck does. We'll jump to a match. Whew! That was... That was a longin'. That was a wait. Who, buddy? What the fuck? That is just... Come on. Seriously? Are you real right now? He's down to six. He's on the draw, though. I'm the one on the play. I'm the one with all the responsibility here to not look like a freaking jackass. But I've got plays. I've got two playables. I don't know. They can block down or do something. I got to find a green. Can I borrow that for a minute? Just for a second. I just want to see it for a moment. Look who looks like a G. His name is me. Give me a land, Wayfinder. Find your way. Oh, God. Good shit in the yard as well. This deck is taken off. I don't have any way to get it out, though. No recursion for this cat by any means. We got the Wall of Omans down there, though, as well as a Pelica Worm. This guy is shiny. He must love this deck. I don't know what cards. I got 300 shinies. I, mean, I might as well shiny up everything that's not common, right? Did this guy like shine up all his lands? Cause he, can you even shine up regular lands, like basic lands? I'd be surprised. I'd be shocked. Get over there, man. What are you doing, mentor? Blocking down. Fair enough, my friend. Wayfinder. See what land he gets me. Do I have to show? I have to show it to my opponent, right? Some, yeah, I'm fine to do that. So let's play it. Go. See now he doesn't know that I got three lands in my hand, and you know a card that's just pretty much unplayable. We're getting there. I mean, shit. We just need to draw one mana, and we'll get there eventually. Well, this guy blocked down with nothing to show for it. He can't even instant speed dudes right here. I'm gonna just stroll across and boom, smack him in the mouth. Nineteen oh, I. Have all my colors. Biz Kopi. Guild Magic. Guild Magic for days. I guess I should just be hitting the back button or whatever, right? To do that. Cultivate. We should all cultivate our gardens. This guy agrees with that statement. He's going to get some lands. What are we, seriously, what are we dealing with? Are we dealing with the same colors? Is he not white, though? He's not white, I don't think. Um... I mean, like, at a certain point, I'm sitting here, I'm like, I might as well put out doubling season, but I also could just gain some life. But I kind of just might as well put out doubling season. Oh, shit, I didn't know Runescarred Demon was in there. Um, Well, that's a whole different ballgame, because I have Rescue from the Underworld in my hand. So I could get... Rune Scar Demon out of there and then get whatever the hell I really felt like.
which would be Seance, because I have the doubling season. I can just combo off, get my... Well, not combo, but just get my core mechanic going. I'd really rather... What's he doing? What's he doing? What does this do? I choose one card, and then discard the rest. So I'm a rescue from the underworld now. Rune Scar Demon. Confirm. And we'll get rid of this guy. And that way I can pick the doubling season. Not the land. Doubling season. Okay. All right. That worked out okay. Not great, but that worked out okay. So all this stuff's going to go off. I'm going to get the satyr out. He's going to toss some more stuff in the yard. I'm going to go ahead and grab this guild gate. He is going to get seance, which is right here. And I draw a card for turn. Let's go ahead and attack. Not that he can have any tricks. I mean, the worst he could do is fog here. Um, nope, costs way too much. I don't even know what I was thinking. Because I'll only have six mana. And it's a three mana ability. Both of his are three mana abilities. I'll go ahead and play Orzhov Guildgate and Doubling Season. And then I will Seance on my next turn. And start getting Pelicorms and just grind this guy down. Grind on him. This controller is really noisy. I can't wait to return this, actually. It's a horrible experience. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I've led a pretty charmed life. Uh, you get to draw a card and take some damage. I got a 6-6 six, six flyer. I hope you drew removal, but you don't have enough mana to play it. So that's difficult for you. Is this just like a slow version of this deck? Or what? Not that this is exactly lighting up the world, but I had 1-1s one and 2-2s two out there early to block stuff down and do work. So I'm not really sure. I guess Vizcopi can't go... Well, wait a minute. I'll have 7 mana. That's 4, 5, 6, 7. So Vizcopa can't go because I'm going to just win this turn. Because I play the Seance. Um, I activate Vizcopa's ability on his opening step, and then I just get the two Pelicorms and I win. So that's pretty standard way to do this. And that's why Viscopa Guild Mage is in this deck. Uh, I'm correct in that, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, but do I have, yeah, I have the white to trigger it. So, I mean, really I don't have to attack, but I might as well attack with the six, six uh, at the very least. There's really no yeah, that's just 12 damage that I would do if I attacked here and gave it lifelink and um, the ability if I activated both those. But now I just got to make sure this taps right. I go ahead and just play the Seance. And then I pass turn to him. And then I would have done... I'm doing 14 damage to him right here. Pelica Worm, select. It's going to go ahead and yes. And then I'll stop this. And if this will target correctly. Whenever I gain life. And I'll go ahead and just take care of that. Seven damage. There we go. Alright. Let's get another one. Getting better at this. Getting more comfortable with this. Um, so the, but the cards that I'm thinking about. The card that I go back and forth with a lot. A lot. Is that demon. The five drop demon. Um, the blood gift wannabe. Which, he's not even, like, a wannabe of Blood Gift. Because I don't control the damage. But, like, man, it's kind of spicy. Because your opponent's got to sack guys out. Got to do stuff. I just don't know that it gels with this deck. It's kind of like a contingency plan. If I have to... I don't want to do anything that I'm doing right now. If I have to just play straight up and I'm just casting cards, I want that dude out there. You know, he's a 5-3 body, which is nice. He's got evasion with the flying, which is great. Um, I mean, he's a good solid dude. If I So basically what I'm saying there is if I don't have anything in the yard, like my yard strategy is not working out, my seance is not working out, doubling season, whatever. If, I, if I've broke down, then I can have a 5-3 out there, you know, on turn 5. That's what I'm saying. If I'm just getting up to that point, then that's pretty nice. That's that's I, I like him as a contingency plan. It's just a 5-3 body. And then I was looking through, and I'm like, well, what else do you put in here? 
Because if we take him out, then we'll go ahead and get red. We'll get away from the card draw aspect of that. Because I've got a lot of ways to draw cards, obviously. The only thing that I could put in that would be maybe more ridiculous would be like uh, the Garouk's Pack Leader. Because then I could draw several off of, you know, all the different interactions that I have there are quite obvious. Uh, but I don't want to get into the card draw. I'd want to get away. But I'd still want to keep in time with this fucking sucks. Oh, shit. Oh, this is so good, though. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is a terrible idea. I already lost. I'm like jazzed on it, man. And even if it's a slow land, I'm still boned. It's hilarious. Oh! What? Oh! That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Excellent. That's sick as hell. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and go to town. Do my job. What am I ripping? I thought for a second I might be ripping another land. Which would have been ridiculous. Let's go ahead and play this guy. He'll get me a third land so that I look like I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, no, he won't. Okay. Failed to find. Hey, luck can't last forever, right, guys? Luck can't last forever. Two Pelican Worms. Uh, card draw with the Elvish Visionary. This guy is cultivating. Let's see. Is he multiple colors or is he just like green ramp or something crazy? Cold Zadak, whatever thing. Oh, green, blue, Simic. What other might he be? I don't know if Simic's viable. I don't know what all this guy could be doing. Uh, this really sucks. I'm going to attack for one here, and I'm going to try a Wayfinder again just so that I can have a land for turn. Also, I mean, you know, we're not... He doesn't know that we're having this trouble because we would have played it this way anyway. But hopefully this can find me a land. Like, I am actually kind of freaking out. This isn't going to choke, is it? Okay. Um... I like the dual duty, so we'll keep that, and we'll toss that down and say go. I really hope I draw a land off the top of my deck so I can do both Elvish Visionaries, to be honest with you. Um, it's it's Golgari that I got out there, right? Yeah. Because uh, I'd really like to do both Elvish Visionary. Or, you know what? That's not even true. I just need a land because I can do Wall of Omens and uh, Elvish Visionary, which will be nice. Um, I don't think I attack here. Not that... He's getting the Cultivate back. It's the only thing in the yard. I was going to go check for a minute, but there's not really a point to that. 3-1 doesn't need to come just yet. Uh, that's a problem for me. It's a little bit of a problem for me. What do I want to leave open? Well, it very much has decided what it wants to leave open. Wall of Omens hopefully draw a non-slow land. Shit. We're up against it now. This guy's got five mana. I don't know. We could be in a little bit of trouble here. I'm not super happy with where we're at right now. Only five mana, though. There's not too much he can do to me. He's only got that one, two out. I almost attacked last turn just to take him down to 18, but we might need chumps later on. Seven mana total, eight, nine, ten is where we would start seeing that guy. Otherwise, we've got a uh, we've got a plethora of bad cards that he, he could be playing here. To be honest with you, and he's got a cancel up right now, which would allow him to scry as well. Which is really the bitch of that is the ability to scry off of it is going to be the problem that we have there. So I'm tempted to play this assistant, you know, maybe try and get some interaction with the Graveborn Muse going on there, but in all honesty, I don't know that that's really going to happen. No cancels here. I'm just trying to find a land at this point. Not having any luck whatsoever. This is not going super well now. But in all honesty, I don't deserve it to go super well because obviously we've made, we've made some questionable calls here. Three man up, think twice. You know that thing. That thing's got evasion, correct? Yes, it does. He's gonna get that cultivate back again. That's still the only thing he has, right? Yeah. Uh, too many cards in my hand. I mean, you gotta get rid of the rune scar and hope that it comes back around. 
I do have the doubling season, which is nice. I'd obviously have to use that after the planter cleansing, which, I mean, if he starts getting pelic worms and a bunch of crazy shit going on, we might be able to do something there. First things first, though, I need to get some mana into my hand and try and figure out what I'm doing there. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. Hopefully, he just plays this Cultivate and I don't have to worry about any counters or anything. But even then, I mean... What are we going to do? Damn it. So he's specifically leaving counter money open. I'm choking here. I'm going to go ahead and do two damage to him. See what he does. See if there's any reaction from this. Mana wise. I can't imagine that there is. But we will take him to 17. Which isn't horrible. I've got three mana up, so he might be scared to block here as well, which is possible, but I don't know why you would be, because, uh, and that's the creature that we would rather die in case we get to call it back. We're going to use this again, just keep trying to find lands. This, that's a weird one to cancel, but, I mean, if he can, I, I don't know that he realizes the importance of stopping me from drawing lands right there. Uh, so if he taps down, I can use the Graveborn Muse and get something going there. I can continue to do two damage to him for a little while, which isn't so bad. And then my yard is obviously fat with creatures that would be amazing to rescue from the underworld. So we do have that as well. We just need to be really mindful of the fact he's got seven cards and five blue sources. So this is really bad. I mean, he can stop a lot of stuff. There's, there's pretty much nothing but counters that he has, and he's obviously going to win long game because he's got the one two and i've got one one so i can't even just throw up against him and and hope for something to stick um because he if it was like an o2 or something we'd be in business we'd be able to do the two damage consistently we'd have more pressure on him uh but we've obviously got a lot of problems here four blue sources time warp it's not good Draw one card, do an additional two damage to us, plus whatever he can get going with the time warp. Two mana off from being able to plan or cleanse. Not that that's necessarily something that we're going to be working on anyway right now, because he doesn't have uh, threats out. I actually was working on blue-green Simic Ramp earlier with the... Uh, um, I don't even know if it's close the deck, I just know that it's one of those types of guys uh he's gonna get time warp back right here i think he might lock me down with the two damage consistently though i am on a seven turn clock it's gonna be almost impossible for him to do unless he has uh pretty much any of the bounce cards he will be able to just look at his one twos and bounce them back up into his hand like right here he's got one mana left and there's the um Va uh vapor snag his own creature yeah, I think he might be able to lock me down here. It's entirely possible. Seven turns is kind of unrealistic, though. At the rate he's going, five cards in hand. Um, Vapor Snag's one. The other one, the one that allows you to scry, that's two mana. There's also the one that is a uh, sorcery speed. Uh, all of those would be cards that he could use to recycle these uh, Archaeomancers, which a great, great strategy. I mean, this is a pretty solid thing that he's got going on here. I, I think he might be able to lock us down, but still he's six turns out from winning. Four cards in hand. Just an end step. See, but this is genius because he could have drawn one right there off the top of his pile, so I mean, it's genius might be a strong word, but yeah, because, well, think about all the different sources that he has that he can work with here. It's it's really a, a great build. Hold on. Uh, he's attacking with the 1-2s, which is totally viable as well, actually. And he's... Put me on a three-turn clock there instead of what we were looking at earlier. Um, it's a well-made deck. Because he's got... It's just one time warp, and what this opponent did 
is you looked at the one time warp and really came up with a, a, a great way to abuse it. I mean, it's, uh, it's a, it's a strong deck for sure. Um, it's not my turn, but I would like to block though, please, if I can do that. Three, so four turn clock there. Um, cause I can keep blocking, but just uh, really impressive. I mean, it's something. I mean, it's a good deck for sure. I, I, I Voyage. I mean, the amount of spells he has to keep doing this is insane. There's no way, there's no tutor in the format, though. So what happens if he doesn't get the one of... I just don't understand, because it seems so situational. I mean, obviously now, we're completely locked down. We're, we're going to lose this, for sure. There's there's not really a way. Because even if it's my turn again, I have to draw a land. I have to, I mean, it's 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 not going to happen for me. There's no way out of this. But what happens to this deck if he doesn't get that time warp? Because he can't tutor for it. I mean, that's my whole thing. I don't know. You gotta assume he's got other mechanics in here. We're not gonna get to see any. For sure. But you just... It's, uh, it's something to consider. Um... What does this deck do without that time warp? So I honestly have no fucking idea. Uh, we gotta block this down, and I mean we'll block another one of these. Take the three. Um, I mean he's he's gonna lock us out one more time, and oh, just had the fourth arcane answer. I'm just trying to think of what else. What else can he do other than the time warp? I kind of want to ask him, but I already was worried that he would think I was being sarcastic with, with that, but it's genuinely a, it's a fascinating build idea. I just don't know about the longevity of it. What if he doesn't get this time warp? What does he have? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. As a that's an interesting build, for sure. I don't I don't know what he does if he doesn't time warp though. That's 